Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. It's your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly. Email me at tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we're discussing a wonderful example of Chagère Le Coult at its best from La Grande Maison of the Vallée du Joux. This is the Chagère Le Coult Reverso Art Deco in white gold, a rare series of watches made from 1992 to 2002, about 900 examples in rose gold, 200 examples in white gold, and that's what we have here. The watch is part of the Grand Thai series of cases, which was first coined in 1991 for the 60th, the 60th anniversary Reverso, and though compact by modern standards, back in the time it was considered to be the big Reverso. So it's 26.1 millimeters from side to side, that is nine to three, not including the crown. It is 42.2 millimeters from link to link or lug to lug, and it is 9.7 millimeters thick with a spacing between the lugs of 19 millimeters. Now this watch is extensively handmade, but you can see that JLC on the non-engraved side was way ahead of the curve with a salmon dial back before that was cool throwing the watch on the wrist. My wrist, 16 centimeters in circumference, wears it beautifully. I've owned two Reversos in this case size, and one of them was white gold. It is a beautiful fit for a wrist as small as 13 and a half centimeters circumference, plenty of clearance on both sides, low enough to fit underneath the cuff, a great dress watch. And of course, it is the icon of Chiger Le Coult. Omega has the Moon Watch, Rolex has the Sub, Patek has the Calatrava and the Nautilus, and AP has the Royal Oak. Chiger Le Coult has the Reverso. If you're gonna buy just one JLC to represent everything the brand has done well and its grand history, it would be a Reverso or a Memovox, and this might be the ultimate Reverso. Taking a quick look at the hardware and the software, you can see this is a brand new JLC factory strap in brand new condition. Calfskin on the bottom, large rectangular scale alligator leather on the top with a gloss finish, a monotone stitch, as you can see a folded edge, and then we have pull tab spring bars so you can use your finger to pop the strap off the case with no need for tools. We have a matching white gold deployant clasp. This is the single fold clasp, JLC's second generation deployant clasp. You can see it has the maker's mark on it, JLC making not just its movements but also its clasps and its cases. Media blasted inside, polished on the outside single fold and quite substantial. Taking a quick look at the case, the Reverso is a graceful and glorious shape, far more complex than the online soldier shots would you, lead you to believe. that. That's how you see it online, and it looks like it might truly be rectangular, but in profile it has a vaulted case band and conical lugs that are squared off on their ends. The gadroons or strakes wrap all the way around the case, and you can see how this was a watch born of the Art Deco era, with the first Reverso created in 1931. At the time, a reversible watch for sportsmen, the idea was you had a glass crystal on one side and then a solid steel case back so you could turn it over and the reverse side would be solid and protected against blows. Well, today the Reverso is a dress watch and that second side becomes a canvas for complications or a movement display and that's what we're going to see here. You can see internally the case uses the JLC maker's mark and engine turning to decorate and as you can see the case uses steel pin snaps to lock it in place when you close it. The timepiece also includes a case back that is polished and individually numbered and a reverse side that is Baroque. Less Art Deco than Art Nouveau. This movement, the 822 AD for Art Deco, illustrates the artistic forms mastered by Gustav Klimt and his ilk, not so much the Art Deco era of machine-driven design. This is more organic and fluid and florid. You can see that the caliber has been entirely gilded in rose gold, skeletonized, and then freehand engraved, so no two examples are exactly alike. Every edge has a beautiful mirrored bevel. All of the screws, as you can see, are fired blue, not, not chemically dyed, fired blue. You can see the steel ratchet wheel atop the barrel has been partially skeletonized with the JL logo creating four different spokes. You take a look at that JL logo, which is the maker's mark. You can see it on the dial. You can see it on the chassis. And if you look carefully, you can actually see that's the spoke form for the barrel. The barrel underneath that has also been skeletonized, so you can see the mainspring. This is a movement based on the 822, which was designed and shaped for this case. So the mark of a true manufacturer is not just making a movement, but building a movement to fit the case, and that's what we have here. It'd be 
rates sway at 21,600 vibrations per hour, pivots on 21 joules. It is manually wound and has a 45 hour power reserve. All of this water resistant to 30 meters, but please do not swim with it. The wheels are beautifully satinated and it rewards repeat viewing as there's a glorious multiplicity of detailing on this side. Now on the dial side, it is a beautiful salmon dial with a rosette guilloche at center. There is an ecaille de poisson or fish scale in board the sunken track for the seconds. And then we have these lovely faceted dart style indices with dauphine hands half frosted for better contrast at center. And then a etched track outboard that bounds the dial. It has vertical satin finish surrounding the center dial, and it is beautiful. These watches were made from 92 to 2002, but you can see the post-1995 hall marking on the inside, so you have a better sense of when this full set watch was manufactured. Reach out to Timaso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.